I, Calvin Ball. I, Calvin Ball. Do solemnly affirm. Do solemnly affirm that I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. Of the United States. That I will be faithful. That I will be faithful and bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance to the state of Maryland. To the state of Maryland and support the Constitution. And support the Constitution and laws thereof. And laws thereof. And that I will. And that I will, to the best of my skill and judgment, to the best of my skill and judgment, diligently and faithfully, diligently and faithfully, without partiality or prejudice, without partiality or prejudice, execute the duties, execute the duties of District Two, of District Two, County Council Member, County Council Member of Howard County, Maryland, of Howard County, Maryland, according to the Constitution, according to the Constitution and laws of this state, and laws of this state. Congratulations. Beloved family, friends, neighbors, those who invested your time, resources, hearts, and soul to, gree to, <laughs> to breathe life into this process we call democracy, welcome and thank you. I want to begin by giving a special thanks to Ken Ullman and Courtney Watson for their service to our county, and a special welcome to Alan Kittleman and John Weinstein. As many of you know, campaigns are a crucible in which heat, pressure, and intensity can be felt through every fiber of our beings, not only as candidates, but those who care about the campaign. Those moments are the memorable tests that forge great leaders, public servants with a purpose, who can emblazon the pages of history with a testimony a testimony of a person and of a people. From this testimony, there is much to learn. How to openly face our neighbors and make that case for support. How to courageously withstand the heat, pressure, and intensity and arise better. How to graciously face the euphoria of victory or the pain of defeat. I'm honored to be here with you and my fellow elected officials not merely as a council member elect, but as a father, husband, friend, neighbor, and fellow world citizen who believes in our democratic process. What keeps our democratic process young and fresh isn't merely the candidates or even the campaigns or a special Tuesday in November, but our ideals and our shared values. Many of us hold steadfastly to the notion put forth by Thomas Jefferson that the care of human life and happiness and not their destruction is the first and only object of government. Know that as leaders, public servants, your voice to ensure your excellent quality of life for the future of generations yet unborn. We will work together to arise from this crucible of this election wiser, stronger, and united in the mission to write in the pages in the next chapter of our story to ensure that our testimony is even brighter and fairer for all. Please take hold of this pen with us, this pen of opportunity, and remember, as Dr. King reminded us, human progress is neither automatic nor inevitable, Every step toward the goal of justice requires sacrifice, suffering, and struggle. The tireless exertions and passionate concern of dedicated individuals. This is who we are, Howard County. Today the campaigns are over. Our democratic process has given us renewed vigor. We are taking office as this work begins. The care of human life continues, our promise for tomorrow endures, and the hope of an even better community burns brighter. Thank you.